Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I have an unboxing and hands on look of the latest games Sentinel Pro XP case monitor for your Xbox One or PlayStation 4 or any other console that you can think of. Now, keep in mind, this is actually $349. It just came out. This is a 17 inch screen, uh, full HD, 1080p. Now, if you've been following games for a while, you know that they already have two cases already out in the market. The first one was the Sentry. It was 15 inch and it was 720p. The second one, which was the latest one, uh, it was the Vanguard, and that was was 19 inches, and it was still 720p. So this one just came out, and it's actually ready for 1080p Pro consoles like the Xbox One X and the PlayStation 4 Pro. Of course, it's not 4K, but it should look good so here in the front of course what you have is uh some features being noticed right here like the 17 inch full hd 1080p dynamic sound stage free accessory bag of course hdmi 1080p uh compatible with pc xbox playstation nintendo and more devices um over here in the back you basically have the same thing same thing like you see there in the back so let's go ahead and unbox this right now Okay, this thing actually slides out. Okay, there you go. So that thing right there slide off. And now we're gonna take this out. Now I was really, really, really looking forward for this. Uh, this had a couple dates. Uh, first it had uh, the date for December 8th, I think it was. Then it got delayed till December, no, January 8th. And I received it today, which is January 9th. Okay, here it is. There you go. And let me see if there's anything inside. We have uh, this right here, which is a little bag. And that's it. There's nothing more inside of the bag. Uh, this is the bag that you're going to use for your controllers. Very nice looking bag there. Look at that. Pretty cool looking bag there. And very thick as well. I'm surprised how thick it is. And here, of course, you got some instruction manuals and a look at the other devices that they actually sell, like the Vanguard, the Sentry. Now, this is the new one, uh, the portable monitor, which I also made a video for it on my channel. Over here in this box, let's see what's in it. There has to be the power supply that you're going to use for the case and a mini U, um, HDMI cable. This is what you're going to use to connect your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One console to the monitor. And it also has a remote control. Look at that. Take this little control out. And there you have it. Look at that. You take this out so the battery can be activated. And there you have it. You have these directional buttons. You got the select button. You got the menu button. You got the brightness. You got the volume. And you got the mute button right there. And the power button. So all the controls that you need to control the li this little monitor, you will be able to do it from here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see the case that I gotta say, compared to the Vanguard, which is the one that I was gonna buy a long time ago, and I hold off, because I knew there was gonna be a new one coming out. Uh, right here you have some things that you should see. It says attention. Kickstand must be extended to prevent tipping of G170 when console is not secured inside. There you go. So it has a little kickstand, which is this right here. There you go. This kickstand right there. There it is. And that's it. That's basically what it says there. We could take this out. This is a huge freaking sticker there. So they actually want you to pay attention to that little notice right there and there it is look at that oh my god this looks so small the footprint of this is so small compared to the vanguard look at that and look how thin it is if you've seen the vanguard before you know what i'm talking about this is insane look how Wow, and I'm actually going to be using this with the PlayStation 4 Pro, which is 
way thicker than the Xbox One X, I think, and the normal slim PlayStation. So of course, most likely, if you have the console inside, you want you want to place it down first. Then you're gonna press these two buttons to the side at the same time. I think like that. Whoop. And then it opens up. There you go. So it's really easy to just open it up. And of course, this also extends a little bit, just a little bit, but it opens up like that. And there you have it. Look at that. So you also have some instruction manual in here, letting you know how to plug everything in correctly to the monitor. It says do not put anything other than the console inside the Sentinel. So of course, make sure that this kickstand right here is actually extended open. Um, if you don't have a console in here, because if you don't have a console in here, this is actually going to tip over and the monitor might get damaged. That's something you want to be careful of. So here we are with the second half of the video. And keep in mind, I'm actually doing this second half of the video like 24 hours after doing the unboxing because I didn't have time yesterday to finish the video. So I say I might as well use this case with the console for at least three or four hours. I, I actually played around three hours of gameplay using this case and the PlayStation 4. And now I can actually share with you guys my opinions. Now there's one thing I didn't like about this case and is that this right here, which is the pouch that comes for the, con the controller and the cables, you cannot fit this inside of the case with the controller in it. Um, that's one negative thing I would have to say about this compared to the Vanguard. The Vanguard is the old one that is a 19 inches. In that one, you can actually uh, store your controllers and cables in the same case. Here, since they actually made a slimmer design, so they don't have space for this inside. So you would have to actually carry the controller and the cables and this pouch, which is really good. The material this is built is really, really good. So you'd have to carry this in another bag. So that's one thing to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and show you guys everything that you can fit here or that I fit here in this pouch before I actually start with the video. Uh, here I got the controller. You can fit two controllers if you don't put the cables here. But if you put the cables here and one controller, that's it. You're not gonna have space for two controllers. So with the cables inside, you only can fit one controller. Very nice there. Uh, you have, have the power cord for the PlayStation 4. I have the power cord for the monitor. This is the power cord for the monitor itself. And of course you have the controller, which uh, I don't think you're gonna be using that much unless you're gonna be watching movies. Yes, you can actually put the HDMI cable, but the HDMI cable, I found that it was easier to leave it attached to the PlayStation 4 console inside of the case because it's very short and it doesn't actually affect the cable or the console at all. So that's what I did, but yes, you can actually fit the HDMI cable here as well. So now let's go ahead and open the case that has the console inside of it. And the first thing you wanna do is to extend the uh, stand uh, just to make sure the, the screen, when you open it up, just to make sure the screen doesn't actually flips over the console or if there's no console inside it will definitely flip over so you want to have this extended and then it has these two latches right here um, and all you got to do is press out on both of them at the same time and it opens it's very very easy when you're gonna close it um, you can't just press down on the cover to close it you have to actually open up again extend these two buttons to the outside and then it will actually secure itself. Uh, this actually has a little bit of maneuver here. Let me see there. You can actually, it has some movement right there, uh, but it's very easy to open it up. Just go like that and it opens very, very easily. Now here, of course, this is the PlayStation 4 Pro, the Spider-Man edition. Uh, right here, like you see, you, I have the HDMI cable. Uh, which is already connected to the console right here and it's very very short so i decided to go ahead and leave it there 
because when you're setting everything up, for me, it's kind of hard to actually find the HDMI port. So I decided to go ahead and leave it there and it will definitely not affect the console at all. Like we said before, you can actually fit here on Xbox One X, Xbox One, the original one as well. And of course the PlayStation 4 Pro, which I'm using here. And it's very easy to adjust any console here. All you gotta do is open the Velcro like that. And you, it has a lot of slack right there to put any device. And I think the PlayStation 4 is one of the biggest console out there in the market. So yeah, you're gonna be able to fit any console here. Once you fit it there, just tighten it up like that. And basically that's it. This is not gonna be falling at all. Uh, when you have the case close and you're walking around with it, you're not gonna feel any rattle inside of the case at all. And the material under the console is very, very soft, but it has, it creates some grooves when you put a console on it, so it won't let it slip at all. So it doesn't really matter what console you put here, it won't slip at all once this is tight and the console, the case is actually closed. So now let's go and show you guys how to set it up to start playing video games with this screen right now. So now, first of all, we're gonna go ahead and connect the HDMI cord from the console to the screen right there. It has the HDMI port right there, two headphone jacks, and this is the power port for the screen. So now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the power to the screen right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect it over here so now let's go ahead and put the PlayStation cable here. Of course, you have if you have an Xbox One cable, you're going to use the Xbox One cable, of course. And let's go ahead and also connect it to the power cord over here. And we're done. Right now, this is actually how it looks when you have it all set up already. So all you have to do is make sure it has power. This is actually on. And press right here. When that turns on, there's a little logo right there, games. You see there on the screen that turns on. If the console is off, it will recognize it as no cable. Then it will automatically power off. That way it's not spending power. Um, this has no battery built in, so you still need power to power it, but it actually turns off automatically like in less than three seconds if it doesn't recognize is that the PlayStation 4 is actually on. So right here, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the PlayStation 4. There you go, PlayStation 4 is on. And over here, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the screen again. There you go, remember it actually turned off. Is it off or is it on? Let's see, there you go. So now it's actually turning on. And right there, you see a little message. The little message, what it's telling you is what device is connected to it and what resolutions is actually running at. And that's it. So now that you're ready, we're ready to go. Look at that. That is awesome, just like that. Now keep in mind, if you're using this for the first time, um, always remember to turn off the console completely because if you put the console in standby Remember you have to unplug the power and you when you unplug the power and the console is on standby When you put it here Sometimes it's gonna tell you oh, you have to connect the PlayStation 4 controller to the console because it was improperly turned off So make sure you actually do that. I think you're okay if you're on the Xbox one consoles but on the PlayStation 4, make sure you always turn it off. And basically that's it. That's all you need to do to play here on the console. I, like I said, I already played Assassin's Creed for almost over three hours already. And I also showed some gameplay or played some gameplay with Spider-Man as well. And I did play a little bit of Red Dead Redemption as well. And I'm telling you, it works really damn good. Um, the console here, it doesn't really get hot at all because um, the PlayStation 4, you see there, there's a huge space here on both sides, but the PlayStation 4 actually, the heat sink, I think it's actually back here. So the heat actually goes from the back out. Uh, right here, I was playing it for over three hours and it never got hot, it was always cold. The heat was always coming from that side. Another thing to keep in mind when you're using it, make sure if it's everything's plugged in, right? Everything's plugged in right there. Make sure you don't close this screen because if you close the screen, 
uh, you might damage the HDMI port on the screen if you try to force this to close like see right there that is not a good idea so don't ever close the screen with the console inside of it right here i'm actually running spider-man on the playstation 4 of course and i wanted to share with you guys the settings that are available for the screen because i know a lot of people are going to ask for what are all the settings you're going to actually uh just here on the screen and here it is you press this button once right you're gonna see this menu right there and i'm gonna go ahead and zoom in for the purpose of this video right there so you guys can have a better visual here on video let's go and fix the camera there a little bit uh, you see there the menu is actually going to disappear if you're not messing with it so uh to mess with it you're gonna have to use the brightness buttons to move above these icons right here uh, the first one you have is picture second color advanced osd and information information is going to tell you what kind of resolution is actually running at and hertz and all that so here in picture uh, you can actually press the volume button it will take you down here to the settings you got brightness you got contrast sharpness aspect ratio you can change it there as well ultra vivid right now i have it on low it was it was on i think it was on normal or off uh you got dcr when you want to go back over here you just press the menu button again and then navigate to the other section and then press the volume button to go down then you keep going down right here so here you got color effects and color effects you this is where you're going to change from standard to gaming mode you got movie mode you got photo mode you got vivid mode and you got standard mode um i was i actually changed it to gaming mode but i was noticing that the colors were a little bit i don't know like a little bit uh pale or not that colorful at all so i decided to go ahead and play with this and the best mode that i actually liked remember this is going to be depending on you and your eyes but my eyes i actually liked the standard mode a little bit better like see there it looks a lot more colorful i don't know if you can actually see in the video the colors changing over here uh, but uh, for me i actually like the standard so i'm gonna leave it there uh, then go back right go back again over here and keep going down i got saturation i got gamma you could turn it on or off uh, you got temperature uh, right now i got it on normal uh, go back again over here then we got in advance we got the volume uh, right now the volume is at 26 but i can go ahead and go put it up there if i want but the good thing is that you don't really have to mess with volume and brightness here because you could do it with the physical buttons on the screen so you don't have to mess with this you got mute and you got low blu-ray volume i think it is uh, then go back again you got all no back again over here then you got osd and in osd you got languages and in languages you got this right here french dosh italiano espana that right there and english that's it that's all you have right there and you got menu time you got osd h position osd v position and reset and that's it so that's those are the only things that you can actually uh, mess with here on the screen so basically that's all you can do like i said for the volume you can adjust it right here and i did notice that the volume is really good this has two speakers each speaker is actually three watts and i actually tested the headphone jacks as well uh, you can actually put two headphones at the same time and each person can actually be listening to the same thing at the same time which is really good especially when you're playing co-op games that's really good and it actually sounds really damn good as well but the volume here on the screen this is the way i was using it the most using the screen uh, the speakers on the screen and i had no problems whatsoever whatsoever listening to the dialogue or anything on it so let's go ahead here and do one little mission right here let me see if i actually remember how to i've been playing a lot of there you go. Oh crap. <laughs> oh no. There you go. Oh 
There you go. <laughs> There you go. So I see there the game actually looks really damn good here on the screen. I had no problem whatsoever when it came to playing any video games here at all. Uh, like, like you see, it actually gets really loud. Like I said, playing here is really good. I've been noticing that the screen actually looks really good. Um, when you move to the side, you can notice it that it actually gets a little bit faded. Uh, but when you're playing straight on and from the side like I am right here in the angle um, It actually looks really damn good. Of course, it's running at 1080p. The screen is 17.3 uh, Another thing to keep in mind is that when you're using the case and Carrying the PlayStation 4 in it. It can get a little bit heavy because the case by itself I checked on the website and the official weight for the case is 8.3 pounds empty the case alone empty so and the console actually checked for the weight of the console especially the PlayStation 4 Pro and it actually said that it was 7.2 pounds so when you think about it you're pushing around or carrying around uh, around 16 pounds you're gonna be carrying it when you're using the PlayStation 4 Pro with this case so guys um, that's it for this video I honestly wanted to show you guys how this uh, the games pro Sentinel new version that came out just very recently I'm gonna leave links in my description uh, for this case if you want you could get it from Amazon Best Buy I don't think Best Buy has it but you could get it from Amazon and GameStop as well but uh, I'll leave links in my description that way you could get it from there and keep in mind it is a very cool device especially a must-have if you are a soldier um, I remember being a soldier back in the days and when I being deployed and all that and man something like this would have been freaking awesome so guys that's it for this video like I said the price for this is three hundred and forty nine dollars I'll leave links in my description for it and if you have any questions please leave it in the comments and I'll gladly answer it of course I'm gonna keep using this for a while to see how it actually works but like I said uh, this part of the video I actually played over three hours of gameplay using this screen already with the PlayStation 4 and I had no problems whatsoever the console doesn't get heated at all the this is has enough ventilation here on the back while you're using it and here in the sides there's no heat coming from the console the only negative thing that i have to say is that here the bag you cannot fit you cannot fit the bag inside of the screen with the console at all when you're traveling so you're gonna have to put this bag with your con controllers and cable inside of another bag and of course i always recommend to carry one of these power strips uh, because you're gonna need power for the case and for the console and you want to just use one outlet on the wall if you have a lot of outlets over here you can actually share with other people that want to charge their phones or want to charge anything other device so guys thanks for watching this video this was a look at the games sentinel pro 17 inch 1080p for any console out there in the market Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.